Hello there ladies and gentlemen, this is Totally Honest Mobile Game Reviews and today we are gonna be reviewing the game Event Horizon Space RPG Take Part in Spaces Wars Beta Holy sh**, who made this title? It's atrocious! No, it's literally the game's title word for word right here on the Play Store page but it gets worse. Look at this. Shooting Star Emoji, Event Horizon RPG Shooting Star Emoji is a hardcore 2D arcade galaxy game about life in a cosmic world. Galactic battles, fights, and alien invaders from the void above. The entire universe for you to discover and explore. Are you ready to look beyond our Milky Way? Create your own military force, build up asteroid ships. What? Mother ships and falcons in order to participate in dangerous but exciting cosmic battles. There are billions planets, satellites, stars, constellations, and Milky Ways. Billions of Milky Ways? On your galaxy map. Without any doubt, or this action game won't be breathtaking. Haha. <laughs> oh dude, cringe overwhelming. There is a dreadful threat in every orbit that space rangers or UFO from the ocean of emptiness. <laughs> the ocean of emptiness, just call it space you dumps, will attack your shuttle. Forget all the flying games you've played before. Ooh, ballsy. Event Horizon is the best RPG that have ever come out. A realistic and dynamic one, which is not a turn-based RPG. Yeah, no s***, Sherlock, that's obvious from the game trailer. And of course, you get the idea. This is an abomination. Both the title and the description looks like a 7 year old wrote them. It's so bad that it causes me to have a sudden and rapid decrease in chemical happiness, which in turn causes a dangerous mental illness commonly found in edgy teenagers in the modern world, clinically known as depression. So what is Event Horizon RPG? Event Horizon is a game where you explore star systems, blow s up for no absolute reason, and kill people asking for your help and steal their s**t. You can buy ships, craft ships, but for some unknown reason, in a game where you act as a space pirate, you can't steal ships. Well, that would be too overpowered, but still, instead you just blow shit up for no reason. You can outfit these ships with multiple modules in a way that is 100% totally not ripping off Tetris. The entirety of the game can be summarized to MILF. Money is everything, infuriate everyone, leave none alive, and fuck everything that you see. The game's mechanics are pretty complex but fairly easy to understand. It can be summed up to just simple numbers and maths. And an added bonus, the game comes with a tutorial that will teach you how to move your ship, what buttons to press to fire your weapons, as well as indirectly tell you to go f*** yourself. Oh, you wanna know what this is? Go f*** yourself. You wanna know what this does? Go f*** yourself. You wanna know where to go next? Go f*** yourself. Simple as that. The game's progression and it's all over the damn place. A complex progression system plus an almost non-existent tutorial that doesn't say sh**. Great, this game just keeps getting better and better. But since I'm feeling slightly generous, I'll help you. The game's progression can be summed up to kill it, loot it, build shit, and repeat shit. You explore the galaxy, find people to kill, again for no absolute reason at all, gain loot from encounters, and use the loot to build or improve your ships. The further out you go from your home base, the harder the enemies, the better loot you'll get. Finally, something good from the game. There are factions in the game that you can meet, and each of these factions has their own fleet of ships and their own technologies. Technologies that you can research and craft in the game. You can also interact with these factions and accept quests from them. If you complete those quests, your reputation will increase. The more reputation you earn, the more services you'll be able to access, such as the Faxon exclusive shop and the Faxon shipyard. But of course, you can also capture the Faxon base yourself. Now which option is the best here? Earn their trust or capture their base? Well ladies and gentlemen, you're wrong! Always remember folks, MILF, especially the letter F, everything that you see. Oh yes, that's the only way you can properly progress. If you're feeling like an asshole, well you can earn their trust and then betray them in the end. <laughs> Let's just say that it's a little off, but ultimately everything is fairly balanced in the endgame stages. 
with a good ship, a good build, and a good understanding of how it works in the game, you should have no problems progressing through the game. And that's good! Fight! Tiger! Uppercut! Oh, you can fire! I make boom! But like the bird get Oh, you can rain! I make boom! Oop, oi! I make boom! Yoga! Oh! Ado can! Ado can! Oh, you can! Ado can! Oh, you can! I make boom! Oh! Fire! Of course, as always, like most of the mobile games out there, this game has pay to win options. But despite that, believe it or not, this game is 100% free to play. Like literally, as you can see here in the list of in-app purchases, it's all stars, the game's premium currency. Except for the last one of course, but never mind the unique ship. It's not even one of the strongest ships in the game, so good for collection purposes I guess? Back to premium currencies. So the game has stars as the premium currency. Normally things like this in a free to play game is never a good sign. Because usually, premium currency is very hard to come by. They can only be obtained after several hours of grinding and such. But Event Horizon RPG is an exception from those types of games. You want premium currency? You can exchange them for credits, the normal currency, or just play and progress through the game. They're not really that rare. Really makes me doubt if these stars are even premium. Now, the most critical category for mobile gaming, the ad frequency. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're in luck! Oh yes, this game has no forced ads. I repeat, ladies and gentlemen, no forced ads. Not even an ad banner can be found in this bad boy. Games like this are extremely hard to come by. The game is 100% ad-free. Unless, of course, you choose to watch ads in exchange for stars. But still, a little disclaimer though, some people have experienced forced ads when they open the game for the first time. But that only happens once a day. Some people basically had to watch one ad each day to play the game. But in my hundreds of hours of playtime, I have never ever experienced any sort of force ads in the game. Maybe it only works on people with certain devices? Who knows? But still, one ad a day isn't too bad. In fact, that's a hundred times better than most games out there that eat up your internet data by constantly loading ads in the background. Oh yes, I know which games does this. I know who you are. You can't hide from me. Of course, as always, before I end this video, here is a 3 minute, no commentaries and unedited gameplay. You judge on your own if the game is worth it or not.
thanks for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this video as much as I had fun making it. Your support is what keeps me going. Again, thank you and see you guys in the next one.